Every now and again, a YouTuber will do something just incredibly stupid, and half the time, I'll just ignore it because most YouTubers have the IQ of, like, a potato. But this one is so comically stupid, you honestly can't make it up. SS Sniper Wolf, or Leah, has had a long-standing feud with another YouTuber by the name of Jax Films, decided to dox him on her Instagram to a massive audience on there consisting of 5.6 million followers. You might be wondering why. Granted, he has been making videos on her very consistently, clowning her content, which consists of lazy reactions and stolen content. But now, she has decided it would be a great idea to drive to his house uninvited and post a picture of his house on Instagram. <laughs> Do you not see how weird and creepy that is? By the way, that is not how she originally uploaded the picture. She didn't have the decency to actually blur his house. I'm not going to show Jack's actual house in the video. Do you think I'm insane? It's weird if anyone came to your house uninvited and took a picture, but if we're playing the bingo card, I wouldn't want someone who, if this picture is real, has a criminal conviction of armed robbery. Jack actually made a video a few months ago about why he is making this content on Sniper Wolf, so here he is to explain it. For hundreds and hundreds of videos, she plays other people's TikToks and provides extremely base-level commentary. This dude is running sideways! What?! Wow. If you want to support the original creators of the TikToks, uh, too bad, because the only links you'll find in the description are all Sniper Wolf. And my favorite part is that half of the TikToks she includes either crop out the original username or just straight up don't have one. To use a recent example from just three days ago, she features 19 videos 13 of which don't have any identifiable usernames. That means there's no way to find and support the original creators here. All of the views and all of the revenue go straight to Sniper Wolf. The thing, <laughs> the thing is though, you can't even make this up. It's just, it's so comical. She actually posted on her Instagram a poll of, should I go visit Jack's films? He lives five minutes away from my shoe. Obviously not. Obviously you should not go to someone's house uninvited. And the thing is as well, I'm seeing a lot of comments online of people defending this type of action. This isn't an issue of double standards where it's creepy if a man does it, but if a woman does it, she has valid reasons to do it. If it's creepy if a woman does it as well. End of story. It's a creepy situation. You cannot turn up to someone's house uninvited, post a picture of their house to your massive audience, and not realize that, hey, this is a bad idea. Like, what is actually wrong with you? Jack actually tweeted the following tweets in regards to the issue. Sniper Wolf just doxed me on her Instagram. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. He then added YouTube itself saying, demonetize this dangerous creator or just get her off your platform. She posted an Instagram story right outside our home and deleted it. He then goes on to say, she literally posted a video of the outside of our house for all of her 5.6 million followers to see, then deleted it. In what universe do you think that's okay? In what reality do you live in where you think this behavior is justified? He then goes on to say, it's time to get her off the platform. She's no longer a silly creator that just steals content, teehee. She's a creep that stalks and threatens her critics. Nah, frick that, time to get her off YouTube. Sniper Wolf actually responded to these tweets on her Instagram with an image of her giving the thumbs up to a drink that looks like Shrek's piss. Hang on, wait, that's not the right image. She actually responded with this image, saying, This creep has been harassing me for months, then playing victim, saying, I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. I mean, maybe if you had privately direct messaged him, which you may have done, and said, Hey, can we talk about this? Instead of going to his house uninvited and taking a picture of his house, you, you might have got a little bit further in wanting to talk to him. But yeah, this entire situation has arose from Jack making videos clowning their content. I wouldn't go as far to say it's harassment because he's reacting to your content, which is reacting to other people's content. He's very consistent at it, I'll give him that, but he's only doing what you're doing and calling you out for doing it because you do it so badly. This guy's entire channel is just me, me, me. Every single video for the past few months has been about me. And it's just like shitting on me. And then his streams. This dude is just like low-key harassing me. Like, should I get a restraining order? 
Did you really just post a video at the end saying you should get a restraining order against him? You literally just turned up to his house uninvited. And as well, let's not forget, you're making an insane amount of money doing it. He's not turning up to your house in the middle of the night, taking pictures of it, yelling from his car, hey, I just want to talk. Come outside in the dark and talk to me near my car. Yes, it might be annoying he is making content on you, but you can't just turn up to his house and then post a picture to your millions of followers. It's incredibly dangerous. Dangerous. Anyone who uses any kind of social media will know that people on social media and the internet in general a lot of the time are absolutely insane. The person I really feel sorry for is Jack's wife who is a totally innocent individual in this situation. Someone who is not even on social media making content. She tweeted out the following. Dear YouTube, YouTube creators, Team YouTube. I am not a creator but my husband is. Tonight SS Sniper Wolf came to my home, posted it on her Instagram for all to see and tried to instigate a confrontation. I now have to worry about what she as one of her, your favorite creators or any of her many fans may do to harm me or my family. I am a regular human that works a normal 8 to 5 corporate job that happened to fall in love with a YouTuber. She might claim that she is coming after a bully but she is actually stalking and doxing normal people with no power. I am an example of this. I beg you what can you do to help us to keep us safe? Like I stated before, I really do feel sorry for Jack's wife as she is someone who works a regular job but now has to deal with this unnecessary careless action done by Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf isn't a child either. She's 30 years of age and should know better. It's painfully ironic that she posts on the Instagram story of his house saying, let's talk like adults. This is probably the most immature, reckless attempt at talking like adults I've seen in a long time. I mean, a big question that everyone is asking, I mean, realistically, what can YouTube do here? They have a strict policy on doxing, but honestly, because it happened on Instagram, they probably won't be able to do much. In the past, YouTube has made changes to rules where any inappropriate behavior outside of YouTube can still affect your YouTube channel. Sniper Wolf is a massive content creator and earns a lot of money for YouTube. So honestly, unless I'm proven wrong, they won't be doing much at this moment in time, unless it's just a minor slap on the wrist. But like I said, maybe I'll be proven wrong on this. YouTube's guideline on doxing is strictly for YouTube, no other social media app. We don't allow content that targets someone with prolonged insults or slurs based on their physical traits or protected group status like age, disability, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation or race. And then highlighted, it says, we also don't allow other harmful behaviors like threats or doxing. Keep in mind that we take a stricter approach on content that targets minors. So that guideline there is strictly for YouTube. It has no sort of precedence on any other social media platform. If she had posted it on a YouTube story, if that's even a thing anymore, or a shorts or any kind of video, this would be taking effect. So overall, this entire situation is just down to reckless, immature behavior. If you wanted to talk like adults, for starters, you didn't need to post it online for everyone to see like it's going to get you some good internet points. Hey guys, look at how mature I am. I'm going to message this person and put it online so everyone knows how mature I am at handling situations. Sniper Wolf, you are very dumb and weird for turning up at his house House, uninvited like some Friday the 13th Michael Myers weirdo saying hey I'm outside your house let's talk in no world is that okay it's not okay for a man to do it and it's not okay for a woman to do it posting it on your Instagram as well where you're going to be in control of the narrative is dumb we all know what you're doing no one would agree with this on any other platform that you're on Jack stay safe maybe hide your home address better from people who don't like you because the internet is crazy let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys and girls because doxing of any sorts is not okay. I'd be saying the same thing about Jack if he did the same thing. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go make a sandwich. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe.